Tonight we report on a Moses Lake teenager shot and killed in Spokane, and the Moses Lake Head Start program celebrates 50 years. What's happening in sports, Bob? You bet, Alan. Local high school golfers have good outings on day one at state, and the Sounders hold off the rapid. Here's a quick glance at our Weather Center forecast. And I'm expecting the heat to continue right through the weekend. A mountain storm may drift into western counties tomorrow, but the big cool down not till Monday. All the details coming on up shortly. I'm Alan Troop, and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News, your number one source for local news sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A Moses Lake teenager was identified as the victim in a fatal shooting in Spokane. The Spokane County Medical Examiner's Office identified 17-year-old Cesar Medina as the boy shot and killed early Tuesday morning inside a business on North Monroe Street. Spokane police stated on Wednesday they were responding to the shooting when they stopped a car leaving the area and found Medina and two others in the car. First responders attempted to revive Medina, but they were unsuccessful. He was shot in the chest and neck. The two other people in the car were questioned by police and released. Spokane police are looking for the suspect, described as an African-American male, about 5 foot 9 inches tall with a thin build and short curly hair, last seen wearing a gray or black sweatshirt. Police and firefighters joined students for recess Wednesday at Garden Heights Elementary School in Moses Lake as part of a new program. Reporter Joe Utter has the details. Wednesday was the first outside lunch this year for students at Garden Heights Elementary in Moses Lake, and some surprise guests join in to have some fun and interact with the students. Moses Lake Police and Grant County Sheriff's deputies, along with firefighters from Moses Lake and Grant County Fire District 5, spent the afternoon at the school for recess. Moses Lake Police Officer Adam Monroe said the visit is part of a new program started this year. Yeah, so at all the schools in Moses Lake, uh, what we do is we have a Law Enforcement Emergency Services Day. Um, as you can see, we've got Fire 5, Moses Lake Fire Department, the Sheriff's Office, Moses Lake Police Department, and we get together at the schools and we interact with the kids. While playing football and basketball with the kids and showing off the emergency vehicles, Monroe said the visit shows that police and firefighters are here to help. Uh, most of the times these kids, their first contact with us is at uh, some type of emergency, uh, a, cr a criminal complaint at their residence, and this allows us to make contact with them in a different light. Monroe said the role of the two school resource officers has also changed this year and allow officers to interact more with the students. Um, the SRO, our roles kind of transitioned this year to be um, more of a mentor to the kids. We interact with them. Uh, we, we talk to them not only about criminal complaints, about things that are going on in their life um, and what law enforcement actually does. Um, we're, we're not here to write tickets. We're not here to take kids to jail. We're here to make sure the kids are safe, that they feel comfortable interacting with us. This is Joe Utter. For iFiber One News. A Quincy police clerk is suing the city after officials reportedly failed to release records about the investigation of an officer. Diana Gonzalez filed a civil lawsuit in Grand County Superior Court. She claims city officials denied her the reports from the internal investigations of former police sergeant Dan Dobbs. Dobbs allegedly threatened Gonzalez on March 11, 2014, after she complained to former police chief Bob Heimbach about the behavior of a police officer. The chief reportedly assigned Dobbs to handle Gonzalez's problem. She was sitting at her desk when she reportedly heard Dobbs walk behind her and say, snitches get stitches. The action led Gonzalez to temporarily obtain a protection order against Dobbs. Euphrata Police conducted the internal investigation for the Quincy Police Department. Dops resigned from the Quincy Police Department in August 2014. Gonzalez's request was made on September 12, 2014, and it was delayed for months before being provided with some of the records. She is still waiting for the rest. A fire damaged a home in Moses Lake early Tuesday morning. Moses Lake firefighters responded to the 700 block of South Fairbanks Drive to a fire burning on the outside of a residence. 
According to Assistant Fire Chief Pete Conjera, a resident was able to knock down a majority of the flames before firefighters arrived. Conjera said the damage was mostly contained to the exterior of the home with some damage to the walls and attic space. Nobody was injured and the cause of the fire is under investigation. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. Short break, we'll be right back. 